Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I want to show you. Uh, I want to show you how OpenCV DNN is working with uh, OpenCV C++ and OpenCV Python. So, uh, with the end at the end of this video, we are gonna um, see how it's really faster OpenCV C++ DNN or OpenCV Python DNN. So we are gonna understand that because. Um, there is a there is an understanding around always because if you are always using C++ uh, even you use OpenCV library or other libraries it's gonna be faster let's see and search is really correct or not for the DNN because DNN is mostly compatible with C++ and people are always thinking if you, you are using DNN and OpenCV and if you need a speed it's gonna be better to use C++ at least uh, around of me uh, there is an understanding about this thing so let's uh, search is correct or not so okay um i already prepared two identical code with both c++ and uh, python in the left side is uh, basically in the right side also we are doing the same we are reading an uh, onyx model uh, via on the dnn opencv dnn in the c++ and uh, also we have a video which is in here we have, uh, uh, by the way the purpose is not detecting anything for now we are just uh, using an onyx format which in the previous videos we already created an um, onyx model for the purpose of the pause estimation but doesn't matter then we are giving an uh, video input for processing for dnm processing and uh, after that we are reading each frame and we are creating the dnn uh, format uh, at, uh, with this blob from image is gonna get blobs blobs means uh, dnn need the inputs in the blob type blob format so it can uh, use this formats for processing for the network okay so basically it's doing that and also i already put some timers to to check how um this uh dnn uh forward function and the blob from image function is taking time so i'm measuring that and similarly in here also we are uh, with the same timer we are measuring uh in the python dnn opencv side how uh faster is doing this job okay so now we can uh, run them actually and see how they are working. First of all, uh, now we are in that location. So we can just call python 3 dnn oops, dnn pi and see how fast it is. And here um, you see it's around for each frame is taking time uh, 480 millisecond to 490. So around it is going and coming. Yeah. So we can say 490 is approximately the average value. So we can stop it and let's see how it's working in the C++ side and run that and see that. Now, um, okay, here we were seeing um, 490 the average, but now you can say the average is 480 or 70 or even you can say 500. Yeah, it's, uh, you see right, C++ is slower than now, so very tiny, but it's still uh, slower than Python side. But we can say this is identical, don't matter about the, that 30 millisecond, I can say this, this is identical. Um, so you see, they are the same. Why they are the same? Because there is a, um, there is a, there is an explanation of this um, because OpenCV's um, Python API is just a wrapper over the same C++ um, DNN implementation. So the the um, he will lifting uh, the actual the actual neural network computations the calculations are done by the um, by the optimized C++ backend, C++ code is still working underneath in both cases. Uh, so most of the people don't know that uh, actually OpenC if you are using OpenCV and DNN via on OpenCV, then uh, it means you are whatever you use Java, Python or C++ is still using the C++ code in behind, embedded code. So that's why the results now are the same the time is getting same so um also i can prove that i already opened the dnm module in here opencv website all you need to do is just calling python oops here you see um 
it's still going the same DNM backend default. Even this for enumeration, you can check the others. So it's using the same backend for DNM. So for same C++ code, they are both using. That's why um, this is very important because some people are uh, familiar with Python, but their results are um, not really faster. So they are thinking, okay, I need to switch C++, but no, already Python is using uh, Python DNN, Python OpenCV DNN is still using C++ code. This is a big advantage actually because in Python you can easily um, you can easily code and you can easily use everything. So you don't have to switch to C++. It's still using same C++ code. So I'm repeating myself, but yeah, in this video basically I just wanted to show you this because this is very important. And to sum up, uh, OpenCV DNN inference speed is nearly the same in Python and C++. As I said, and uh, yeah, that's all. Um, if yeah, I'm done for this video. If this is very helpful for you, so just uh, thumb the video, just like it, and thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.